guys, what's going on? This is Mac, and welcome back to some more Mario Kart 8 DLC. In this episode, we will be tackling the Triforce Cup. And who better to take on the Triforce Cup than the Hero of Time himself? We will be using Link this time around, and we will be pairing him up with the Master Cycle, the Triforce Tires, and the Hylian Kite. And once again, this is the Triforce Cup, with that lovely Hyrule Circuit there at the end that I'm sure you are all looking forward to. So let's just get right into it. Here we got Wario Goldmine. I completely spaced out for a minute there, um, waiting for the loading screen. But um, we got Wario Goldmine. This is originally from Mario Kart Wii, and they remade it for this DLC pack. I'm not too fond of this track. I actually don't like it at all. Um, it's extremely frustrating for me because of the bats and everything associated with it. So, yeah. I'm so, I, I got a mushroom in first place. Okay, I'm not even going to be mad about that. Um, this guy would have been a large group of people who actually liked this course for them to consider doing a remake. I mean, I, I'm not on the development team, so I don't have any say in it, but I'm sure there was a large amount of people that liked this track, which is why they decided to redo it. There's so many other Mario Kart Wii tracks that I would rather have over this one, but whatever. For now, we're just going to dominate and destroy so that we can get that three-star gold trophy at the end of the cup. An interesting thing is that since this rail cart area here is now into gravity, you can actually use the rail cards as a spin boost, which is pretty cool. I like how they implemented that, actually. I really like how they implemented that. Okay. I hate lightning so much. I mean, I'm glad that the red shell that was coming at me didn't hit me, but I would rather have that than the lightning. I'm not going to rant about lightning, I've ranted about it before, so I'm not even going to waste breath on it. I just don't like it. Okay, there's the spin boost from the rail cart. We are coming up to the end of this race. And there it is. First place on the first race. That's very encouraging. Let us continue on to the next race. Here we have Rainbow Road from the Super Nintendo version of the game, Super Mario Kart. I was actually surprised when I heard that this was included in the DLC pack because they already did the remake for this track in Mario Kart 7. Um, so I mean, I'm a little confused, but aside from that, I think this version looks gorgeous. The colors and the lighting effects and the um, backdrop, like the background of the course. I just think it all looks gorgeous. The colors are vivid and bright. I really like it. I also like the freaking disco ball looking womps. Those are pretty entertaining. I don't remember liking this one in Mario Kart 7 because of how narrow I imagined it was. Um, I'm not sure if it's just because I'm watching it on a bigger screen now, but the stage doesn't feel as narrow as it used to for me, if that makes any sense. I also can never get those jump boosts from the ripple in the road. Well, I shouldn't say never, but it's difficult for me to get them. I don't know why. Probably not significant enough to go towards a jump boost when I try it. Okay. That's lovely. The squid ink freaking messes you up really badly. Like, it's unbelievable how bad the squid ink actually messes you up. Because not only does it obstruct your view, which 
isn't the issue. The issue is that it messes with your traction. And because it's messing with your traction and it's obstructing your view, it's actually a problem. Okay. That's the third time I've been hit by lightning in this video. Thank god that is over. Nice and short, most of the Super Nintendo tracks are. I really like that one because of, again, just it's very visually appealing. It's extremely visually appealing. But anyways, let's get on to the next race. And here we have Ice Ice Outpost. This is one of the original tracks um, included in the DLC pack. This one's interesting because it's consistently split in the middle by these um, yellow and green tracks. And then they'll like weave into different positions and stuff. And like now the green is on the inside when previously the yellow was on the inside. Which is very interesting. Um, I'll have to mess around on it and figure out what is the fastest route to take. I've got a pretty good idea of what it is, but um, again, I'll have to mess around with it. I could probably take... Oh, well, that was a bad idea. That was the opposite of what I wanted, actually. All right, well, no, it still worked out pretty well. I'm not going to strategize when I'm just trying to make a video for fun. I can strategize off camera. There are two shortcuts in this track. I'm passing one of them now on the, on the right. You can see the ramp. But I'm not going to try getting them because I do not trust myself with a bike to get them. If I was driving a cart, I'd go for them. But since I'm not, like, I don't trust the drifting on the cart that much. I don't trust its accuracy. Or it's handling, for that matter. Drifting on a cart is a lot easier to handle than drifting on a bike. I feel like you got more control over your vehicle. Anyways, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, but we got Link here rocking his outfit from Skyward Sword and Skyward Lightning. See what happened there was Link did the trick and stuck his sword in the air, and then his sword became a lightning rod, and that's why I got struck by lightning just now. Because you know, science. Science and math and physics and freaking lightning. But yeah, he's got his Skyward Sword rendition in the game. There we go, that is Ice Ice Outpost. That wasn't too bad. That actually went pretty smooth. Except for the lightning. But anyways, now we have probably the most anticipated and most exciting track in this Grand Prix up next. And here we have Hyrule Circuit. Hyrule Circuit's awesome because A, the music is awesome, and B, the um, they replaced the Mario coins with rupees. And rupees, for those of you who don't know, is a currency used in the Legend of Zelda series. So they replaced the coins with rupees and I got hit by a banana. Rippy. And they replaced the item sound with the chest opening sound. I really like the Zelda theme remakes they use in this. Alright, there's this thing where if you hit all of these, that happens. Haha! Yes, that was awesome. The ramp appears. And when you hit the Master Sword, you get a spin boost, which is pretty sick. I don't know why or how Waluigi's in front of me. That's going to hit me. I'm going to get upset. I got a bomb. It would have been so cool if they retextured the bombs. Like, even if they made it like a bomb flower. You know? And also with the boomerang. It would have been really cool if they had done that. Boom. Oh, that actually unlocked the 
Spoon Boost. It also kind of did like the jingle from Zelda when you complete a puzzle. Ba -da -da -da. Yeah. Oh, I missed the boost. Oh well. That trumpet, though, it sounds amazing. Nintendo games in general just have amazing music. I don't think I'll be able to get this. Yeah, I missed the middle one. Oh, I know, I had a banana peel. Please don't tell me that messed me up. I hear Rosalina. Don't do it, Rosie. I don't want any of what you're given. Don't do it, Deku. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, please don't use them. Please don't use them. Please don't use them. Oh. Oh, yes. Sweet, sweet, sweet victory. Yeah. Oh my god, you have no idea. Yeah, how long I've been sitting here recording trying to get 60 points on this freaking Grand Prix. I am so happy right now that I finally did that. My heart, I'm sure you could feel my heart break when I hit that banana peel and saw Rosalina pass me with two mushrooms. I could feel my heart break when I saw that and the fact that she messed up, hit a banana and didn't use the two mushrooms it's just, oh my god, that was, I'm not even going to complain, I'm not even going to complain. Let's view the highlights, shall we, please? Here we go. Look at this. Let's watch the highlight reel, shall we? Let's watch it. Let's just bask in the glory that is Zelda. Boom. Haha. -ha. It's beautiful. Look at that perfect four first place finishes. All right. All right, indeed. So there we go. That was the Triforce Cup. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. I think that ending deserves a like, to be completely honest. I mean, I mean, I... <laughs> Um, if you <laughs> if you want to stay tuned for some more Mario Kart and Nintendo related videos, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, and make sure you go check out the other two parts of this DLC spotlight. Um, the first part goes over the different characters and cart parts and car parts. Um, and then there's another video that goes over the egg cup. Uh, it's going to be a three-star gold trophy on the egg cup. So make sure you go check out both of those. We'll have annotations at the end of the video. But until then, with a racer of Link, points of 60, stars of 3, and trophy of gold, Mac has completed the cup, and I hope you do too. Have a good day.